course, it's representative of so much more than just that day's moment. There's a bouncer down the first baseline. That is a fair ball into the right field corner for Machado. It dies down there. Machado goes to second. He's going to turn and look at third, and now he's going to go. And here comes the throw from his oh. and the tag. Oh! Not in time. What in the world? Interesting. Beltre was in position. Well, it was off the bag. But it looked like he had gotten Machado. And Mazar really shows up that great arm. Well, Machado had made the assumption. You're going to see here first, Nomar Mazar. He puts his hands up, but the umpire on the first base side is singling safe the entire time. And Mike Everett, you see Nomar trying to do it again, but he goes ahead and he picks that baseball up, but he fires that ball to third. And boy, it sure did look like he got Manny Machado on the back. But what was interesting about Machado, that ball just sitting in there. But what was interesting about Machado is he was not running hard at all. He also assumed that one's really close right there. And Manny Machado assumed that this was going to be called a ground rule double. We'll see it, right? Uh, you know what? I mean, he might have him right there. That's a great shot. Looked like they may have gotten him in that spot, but watch Manny Machado. See him kind of going there, starting to pull up a little bit. Goes around. You see him right here. Yep, that's just going to be a ground rule double. And then he sees the ball sitting. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll go ahead and keep going. Now, had he run hard the entire way, that's a no doubter on that triple. With that one two that we had from center field, that super slow mo. Like maybe he got him in the back. That was yeah, close. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting one as they review that back in New York. That was a pretty good read on Machado's part. Trying to get a sense for the situation. Well, it was and it wasn't. Because, yeah, eventually, yeah, he decided to go ahead and take third. Let's see this one more time. It's hard to tell where is their contact. It's, you know, that's a problem. You can you say definitively if there's contact in that spot? Probably not. After seeing that again, I'm going to guess that this thing's probably not going to get over. To... Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to say, I'm going to say no. It's close. I'm just guessing. But you see how he pulled up. Right. Oh, yeah. And yeah, he, yeah. I think everyone made the assumption, no more Mazar, same thing, that this was just going to be called a ground rule double because it hit that stool down there. I think, in a way, he sort of set Mazara up, too, though, because as he was rounding second and looking, he was looking at Mazar. Mazar was kind of looking at him. But he was smart in that he took, you know, he just took the turn. Mm -hmm. He took the extra two or three steps just to see what would happen. And when Mazar went down for it rather nonchalantly, he said, all right. Oh, I'll take off. That's it. Here we go. Oh, oh they got it. I'm happy to be wrong on that one.